I thank you. Senator Graham. Thank you. Let's just build on what, what has been said. How do you say your name, sir, Alex? Uh, uh, Alexi Janulius. Okay. Alexi's fine. I want to see if I got the point here. A public library is supported by public dollars. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Are you telling taxpayers of this country, just shut up? Uh, is All you worry about is your kids don't have a voice about how your taxpayer dollars are being spent and what kind of community you're living in here? Because you're a parent and you don't let your three daughters read something, is it possible that the other things, that the books in question may hurt the community in the eyes of parents? Can a parent, a taxpayer, complain under this theory? Or should they just shut up? Uh, I would make the exact argument you are. This is about um, parents no, making decisions. No, we're not making the same argument. My argument is you just said... If you've got kids, you police your kids. Otherwise, just shut up and trust the library system, the school system. Let them decide for your community. I completely, totally reject that. If you, I don't have any kids, should I shut up? I pay taxes. When you have a public library and you have a board, somebody decides what books to go in or what not to go in, lend your voice to the cause. It's okay to speak out for your community. Uh, Cameron, you have an advocacy group in Texas, right? That is correct. And you have every right to do that. You can advocate for your point of view, and somebody in Texas has to decide who wins. But never shut up, never be quiet. My point is, the theory of this case is, parents have a very limited role in life, apparently, Taxpayers have a very limited role in this area. You're paying money to run these libraries. I mean, you're getting money from taxpayers. They should speak up. Ms. Knox, you said, is it unconstitutional for a parent to go to a school board or a public library and complain? Thank you for giving me the chance to respond. Actually, almost all libraries have in their policies something called a request for reconsideration that allows parents or interested community members to object or say what they would like to have changed in a library collection. I think what's important to remember is that this is a collective decision. It's not just one person who gets to say what is in I, a library collection. I, I'm not arguing with you. I, I, somebody has to decide. But the point is the individual here, the individual taxpayer, the individual individual parent, there's an effort in this country to shut you up, Ms. Neely. Are you going to shut up? We will absolutely not shut up. I am here on behalf of more than 10,000 members of Parents Defending Education who want to have a voice in their children's education. Yet they, every time they speak up, are mocked, are shamed, are intimidated and silenced and bullied by elected officials and community members who do not want them to speak up, who are told that they are book burners, who are ashamed of that. And you know what? We will not stop because after COVID, we saw, we had a window into what our children were learning or were not learning, and we were disappointed by that. So parents have not stopped, and they will not stop advocating for their children because the gatekeepers, be it the teachers' unions or anyone else, has shown that they do not have our children's best interests at heart. They have their money and their power structure at heart at the end of the day. Mr. Eden, is it your testimony there's an organized effort in this country uh, to push ideas, books, literature, through the public school system and libraries that has a very uh, strong political agenda behind it? Is that what you're telling us? Um, I think it, it's pretty clear that that is what, what is going on, yes, sir. Yeah, and if you don't see that, you're blind. You know, in Florida, Ron DeSantis did something you may not like, Mr. Chairman. In Illinois, you do it a different way. But Governor DeSantis decided he would step in and stop what he thought was abusive from his point of view. My point about this hearing is there's no role up here for any of us. Illinois, you do it the way you want. Florida, you do it the way you want. Each school library, you'll decide. But the day that a parent, a concerned citizen, can't come forward and say, I object without being humiliated is a bad day for America. And there's nothing in the Constitution preventing everybody in this country from having a say to express yourself. 
to try to mold the community in a way that you think is better. And some of the things being pushed through this agenda are just quite frankly offensive. I think you made the point earlier.